What's good? It's your boy Slimeball Jew. And as you can tell by the thumbnail and the caption, I blew my fucking speakers on my car, bro. Yes. And I even had my car for six months. But I ain't buying them like that. Some of them came like that. But more of the story, they're fucking blown. So I'm replacing them today. I got some JBL speakers we already putting into them. So way better. A way better sound system that's right going to the car. So before we get into this video, though, I got five hoodies and four brands that I want to showcase for y'all. Now, they didn't pay me for this. They just support me and I support them. So I'm going to put y'all on to so make sure y'all get y'all hoodies for this winter coming up. Or if you wear hoodies during the summer, I want to make sure I get you right. As y'all can tell, I had to switch the scenery. I low-key had to switch the fucking day up. It's a whole different day now when I shot the first video. But when I shot the first video, bro, the videos came out hella choppy. They didn't look right. They didn't sound right. I wasn't talking right. The information didn't come out right. So we're just going to reshoot it. I'm going to give you all a better description of DC. All right. So the first brand we working with is my good man's Miles. He got this brand called Shh Worldwide, bro. If you don't know, I'm going to put it right here for you, bro. But this is a dope ass hoodie. It got the uh, skeleton rhinestones. You see that shit is glistening off the light, bro. It's a dope ass hoodie. I like it, man. It's really thick, bro. So uh, if you want to wear this shit during the summertime, just know you're going to sweat. But uh, for the winter, it's a great hoodie, bro. It'll keep you warm. I like it. Got the little shh on the side, too, bro. It's a great overall hoodie. I definitely need more. Make sure y'all go visit him and get, get more clothes because he got hoodies, T-shirts, bubble coats, hats. He got it all. All right. This next brand I'm featuring, this is a personal favorite. I'm not going to lie. Shout out Tucson. Shout out Q for sending me this joke the day it dropped. I needed this, bro. But uh, this brand called Solace or Solace. I don't know how to say it right. I haven't heard it from one of them yet. But this is a great hoodie, bro. It reminds me of the essential hoodie feel. It's really thick. I like the way that the uh, it has a phrase. I think that's the way or the word that I'm supposed to say phrase or distresses off the uh, letters. I like the little S patch it has on the side, bro. That's a great touch. It's really thick, just like I said. So if you plan on wearing this during the summer, make sure you put some shorts or maybe even put a beater on when you have it. But uh, great material. Uh, overall, great hoodie. They just dropped some new shorts, too. Go cop those, but I'll make sure I put his his link. I'll put the description. I'll put everything right here for you guys. If not, it's in the description in the video, so go check him out. All right, the last brand we're going to be showing tonight, or today, <laughs> the last brand we're going to be showing today is my good band's Trays. It's called Kaizen Worldwide. I hope I said that right. Like I said, for a lot of these brands, for most of y'all that know, I'm in Tennessee. All, all these people that sent me these brands are in Maryland and in other places, so I haven't heard how they're pronounced in person. But I think it's Kaizen Worldwide. It's a great hoodie established in 2023. The brand was established in 2023. You know what I mean? Um, two, uh, two hoodies just like this. They got a white one. And they got this blue one right here. On the back of it, it says 1%. It got the two logos on the side of it. It zips up all the way. I think this is supposed to imit uh, like imitate like a world. I think that's how I, I hope I use that word right. But it's supposed to imitate that or look like that's supposed to be like that. I don't know. But it's a great hoodie. Hold on. Let me show you the back of it so you can see the 1%. Ooh, it says 1% right there. But overall, a great hoodie. If I were to compare this to a kind of a hoodie or another type of hoodie that everyone would know, same thing. Another Nike type hoodie. Maybe not as generic. Maybe not the dry fit ones, but the ones that are a little bit more expensive. You know what I mean? But great hoodie. Make sure y'all go check them out. Before we start these speakers, I heard there's a little car meet that's up the street. Supposedly a little cars and coffee. So we're gonna go pull up and see what that's about. Cause every cars and coffee that I gotta go to is always like an hour and a half away. So this drone's five minutes away. So let's go see what they're talking about. You see me, gotta be next to a cat somehow, man. I need me a Miata soon. How you feeling, Cole? How you feeling? It's a good Saturday. Blessed, blessed to be alive. Bro, look at this Rari. Oh my goodness. What you doing if you get this? <laughs> Nothing. You can't handle this. They trying to start. Oh, they trying to start that up. But oh gosh, you couldn't handle this, bro. I don't know. This motherfucker. I feel like this bitch be flying. Let me know in the comments. Let me know in the comments if you can handle this, bro. Cause this motherfucker right here. Sheesh. And then they got the. Oh my god, they got the Back to the Future car. Hold up. Look at this shit, bro. That motherfucker Back to the Future. Hey, cool. That nigga going back to the future. Or back to the past? It's back to the future. 
bro. So funny story. If you peep my Instagram video from a couple of days ago uh, on Instagram, I put it right here. But uh, I interviewed her and she had this car and she was talking about how she had a whole nother NSX that's her more so her performance car. And that's this one right here, bro. That shit is crazy, bro. Two, hey, Gabe, this what you want, huh? That's what Gabe be wanting me to get, bro. Oh my goodness. Shout out one Jay-Z, Gabe. Nah, but these motherfuckers go crazy. You see the rims on them motherfuckers, bro? I'm not gonna lie, bro. I don't know how they do it. I don't know how they ride that low. I feel like, I feel like I'm gonna just break something every fucking day. Look at this shit, bruh. Oh my God, boy. Ooh. Oh my God. Hey Gabe, what'd you say? This fuck you money, huh? Oh my God, bruh. Yo, this shit is crazy. I don't know how people can ride that low, but props to those who do it. Y'all know me. I've been talking about this shit for a minute now. All I want is a track hook. First YouTube check, first anything check, I'm getting a fucking track hook. Look at this shit, bro. Bro, this motherfucker right here. Look at the rims on this bitch, boy. Carbon fiber in a dish. Oh my goodness, bro. That shit is crazy. Oh my God, man. You, It don't get much better than this right here. Look at this, look at the back. Oh my God. What's it? All right, so we just got home. Cool little car meet, cool little car meet. But now into business. So I got my speakers here. We got the JBL speakers. I don't know if y'all can see them. We got some good JBL speakers from my uh, side doors. And then we got some speakers from my front dash. <sighs> Let's take apart this goddamn dash, man. I'm gonna show y'all how to put speakers on your Dodge Challenger, I guess, so. It's not gonna be step by step, because I feel like that take too long, so just bear with me. But we're gonna put some new speakers in this motherfucker. So your first step is taking off your side door panel. I just took off my side door panel, and then I gotta take off this, and then I gotta go over there and do the same thing to over there, and take off the same thing on that side, and then I'm able to lift up that up there, and then that's how you're gonna be able to get your speakers from there, and from over there. You come up here, so we took off the panel that's up there. But look at these baby ass speakers they gave me. I'm gonna show you the new ones compared to these. Let me take these out and then show y'all my new ones compared to these ones, bro. Just look at the quality and how these are put together compared to, to this, bro. Like, look side by side. You see what I'm saying, bro? Like, you know what I mean? I got my handy dandy mechanic right here, always beside me, getting me right. But. It's time to go. Ooh, I got it magnetically stuck and shit. Hold on, let me take it off before I break it. But uh, we about to go put it in the car now. She's putting on the uh, attachments, the adapters for me. All right, so a whole day is going by. You may not be able to tell, but I know. Maybe the outfit let y'all know. But a whole day has gone by, and uh, yesterday when we were doing my speakers, I ended up not having the right adapter for my car. So we ended up having the adapters. But we got the speakers in. Oh, we got the speakers in my dash up there now. We got everything put back on. Now it's time to take off these door panels. And like I said, I'm gonna only show y'all one side. I'm gonna take off one door panel, and then show y'all putting me the speaker on the other on that side, and then I'm gonna do it on the other side. But I'm not gonna show y'all. We're just gonna do a whole ending of the video and let y'all see how the whole entire surround sound work. So let's get it. So we got the door off, took a couple screws off. You had to take the uh, the door lock. You had to take the door lock out. It had three screws on the bottom. And then you take the back panel off of here. And then there's a back panel up there that you take off. And then boom, you pull the door off. And then I got to my speaker. I took this bracket out and now I'm about to replace uh, and put the new bracket in. So this is the side of the door with the speaker in it. I forgot to show y'all how it looked over there. So I'm just showing y'all this one. Uh, we're putting the screws in now. These are the last two screws. And then we just put the door panel back on. And I'm gonna let y'all see how it sounds. All right, gang. So we just finished. As you can see, we got the door panel back on. I got the speakers in there. I'm trying to tweak out the, the settings to figure out how the bass is supposed to be, the trouble and all that. But yeah, man, 
I finally got some speakers. I finally got some surround sound in my car. It's not just one side of my car working now no more. So, yeah, man. Thank y'all for watching. Shlump. I know if I had to, I can start over and do it all again They be focused on me, practicing my style, I really set the trend I remember we thought we was rich when we first got a 10 I ain't never want the spotlight, I'm cool with blending in Pull away, get deeper in You ain't like that, don't